O Lord, open our lips, and we will declare your praise. Lord, in the morning thou shalt hear, my voice ascending high, to thee will I direct my prayer, to thee lift up mine eye. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Let's turn to the scriptures, to Psalm 128. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in obedience to him. You will eat the fruit of your labour, blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots round your table. Yes, this is the blessing for the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. Peace be on Israel. Father, we pray that we will be those who fear you and walk in obedience to you. Lord, we pray that every part of our life will be in obedience to you. Lord, we thank you for the blessings that you've already given and the blessings that you promise for obedience. New Testament reading is from, the Old Testament reading rather, is from Ecclesiastes in chapter 5. Guard your steps when you go to the house of God. Go near to listen, rather than to offer the sacrifice of fools who do not know that they do wrong. Do not be quick with your mouth, do not be hasty in your heart to utter anything before God. God is in heaven and you are on earth so let your words be few. A dream comes when there are many cares, and many words mark the speech of a fool. When you make a vow to God, do not delay to fulfil it, for he has no pleasure in fools. Fulfil your vow. It is better not to make a vow than to make one and not fulfil it. Do not let your mouth lead you into sin. Do not protest to the temple messenger. My vow was a mistake. Why should God be angry? at what you say and destroy the works of your hands. Much dreaming and many words are meaningless. Therefore, fear God. If you see the poor oppressed in a district and justice and rights denied, do not be surprised at such things, for one official is eyed by a higher one, and over them both are others higher still. The increase from the land is taken by all. The king himself profits from the fields. Whoever loves money never has enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. This too is meaningless. As goods increase, so do those who consume them. And what benefit are they to the owners, except to feast their eyes on them? The sleep of a labourer is sweet, whether they eat much or whether they eat little or much. But as for the rich, their abundance permits them no sleep. I have seen a grievous evil under the sun, wealth ordered to the harm of its owners, or wealth lost through some misfortune, so that when they have children there is nothing left for them to inherit. Everyone comes naked from their mother's womb, and as everyone comes so they depart. They take nothing from their toil that they can carry in their hands. This too is a grievous evil. As everyone comes, so they depart. And what do they gain, since they toil for the wind? All their days they eat in darkness, with great frustration, affliction and anger. This is what I have observed to be good, that it is appropriate for a person to eat, to drink and to find satisfaction in their tiresome labour under the sun during the few days of life God has given them. For this is their lot. Moreover, when God gives someone wealth and possessions and the ability to enjoy them, to accept their lot and to be happy in their toil, this is a gift of God. They seldom reflect on the days of their life because God keeps them occupied with gladness of heart. Father, we lift up to you the meaningless of this, the meaninglessness of this world without you. Lord, the meaninglessness of wealth. Lord, we pray that our desires will be on that which is eternal. Lord, we will not tile for that which we will leave behind or could lose through some calamity. 
but we will give our lives and dedicate our lives to you and that which lasts forever. John chapter 8 and verses 21 following. Once more Jesus said to them, I am going away and you will look for me and you will die in your sin. Where I go you cannot come. This made the Jews ask, will he kill himself? Is that what he, why he says, where I go you cannot go? But he continued, you are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I have told you that you would die in your sins if you do not believe that I am he. You will indeed die in your sins. Who are you? They asked. Just what I have been telling you from the beginning, Jesus replied. I have much to say in judgment of you. But he who sent me is trustworthy, and what I have heard from him I tell the world. They did not understand that he was telling them about his father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own, but speak just what my father has taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what pleases him. Even as he spoke, many believed in him. To the Jews who had believed in him, Jesus said, If you hold my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants, and have never been the slaves of anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free? Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know you are Abraham's descendants, yet you are looking for a way to kill me, because you have no room for my word. I am telling you what I have seen in the Father's presence, and you are doing what you have heard from your father. Lord, we pray that we will be set free. That, Lord, we will receive your truth and be set free from slavery to sin. That we may live righteously before you, pleasing to you. And, Lord, in a way that brings glory to your name. Lord, we lift up this day and its various tasks, Lord, all the things that we engage in. Lord, we continue to pray for each other. And, Lord, we just pause for a moment and lift up before you uh, friends and family, church members and uh, people in our community who we know need a touch from you. Lord, those named in the quietness of our hearts, Lord, we pray that you will minister to them as their needs require. Almighty God, you made us for yourself and our hearts are restless till they find their rest in you. Pour your love into our hearts and draw us to yourself, and so bring us at last to your heavenly city, where we may see your face through Jesus Christ our Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.